Good morning. Yep. Um, we're here today hey. with Darren of the NFT uh, Graffiti Kings. Uh, we haven't actually had him on in a while. And, here, um, he's, he's upgraded with- now. I just noticed that your name is Darren Graffiti Kings Cullen, a.k.a. God. <laughs> That's a, a promotion from, from the last time we spoke. Deserved, I might add. And, uh, Getting that. Yeah, and, and you've brought a friend along with you, um, Munster Vision. Um, so we're yes. kind of excited to dive in. Um, um, if you guys want, I'm ready for uh, for gratitudes right now. You want us to do that, and then we'll uh, we'll just dive in. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. All right. Well, uh, Monster Vision, you go first. What are you grateful for? Yes. Oh man, I am grateful for so much at this present moment. I'm grateful for a sleeping to have the opportunity to join you guys on this awesome show and talk about all this awesome stuff we're cooking up. But no, um, more existentially, I'm quite thankful and grateful to have um, found this space a year ago, a little ago, and to think about all the relationships that have fostered since then, all of the unique um, opportunities to cook and be creative and, and use my, you know, use my best self, I think, is what I'm grateful for. I've, I've been able to really... Um, come into my own in this space and I, I've got a lot of it to thank to Darren here and to GK to wax overall. Um, so I'm just, I'm thankful today to, to be here on this show and be present. I'm grateful to have this opportunity. Awesome. I gave you three cause that was, that was a lot of shit, but it was all good <laughs> shit. <laughs> I just talk. <laughs> oh, hey dude, you nailed it. Awesome. Darren, how about you? Yeah, man. Mate, so today I'm grateful for Munster to be in uh, in this space as well. He's bringing us, uh, yeah, some great utility with uh, the Graph Punks. So uh, very grateful for what he's uh, doing in this space with us. He's a, he's a machine. So I'm grateful for Munster for being a machine. <laughs> Thank you. Jimmy, how about you? Grateful for a progressive blockchain change. And rockets. Jesus. I've been doing a lot of thinking recently about my oh, yeah? value points in life. That uh go and check out um Corey's last like little uh, retweet things to Austin Linney. That was a great little thing to read. Um I hope that we do get I think it's Rob on the show at some point. But um yeah, I mean we're here. It's been a while. Um I kinda you know I've been following what you guys have been doing over there at Graffiti Kings. And um, we had Michael uh, from ESUSA on the show who, um, you know, shouted you guys out because you guys did their new logo. Um, There's lots of stuff in the works uh, that you guys have been working on. Um, So I'm pretty excited to dive in. But before that, I think uh, Corey might have thrown up a couple other uh, gratitudes. Corey, what are you grateful for today? We didn't catch that one. Um, 
Yeah, I'm uh, grateful for uh, Monster Vision, Darren, and Graffiti Kings. Again, it's been a long time. Um, huge fan. It's uh, it's good to uh, it's good to reconnect for sure. Um, and yeah, the rest of the time I was I was getting uh, TC's up. He's grateful for Miners for the second day in a row. Um, yeah, I think I think there's a really good chance that uh, that uplifting miners are still uh, extremely undervalued. Um, and uh, and yeah, and mostly I just spent I was trying to get everybody else's stuff all the way up there. Which you know we've succeeded at more or less. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm grateful for sleeping. Right. So we all uh, we all kind of know who Darren is. So we had him on the show um, probably almost a year ago. It was the first time. Hey Jimmy, um, what's going on with your mic? Are you hitting it? Uh, sorry, I'm at the in laws, so maybe I'm just talking quiet. <clears throat> yeah, it looked like if your if your mic is on your uh, your headphone, it was like you were tapping it. Uh no, it's probably just happen something else all right cool <laughs> i mean i mean like we we we're very professional in the show we gotta we have to maintain a, a high level of, of quality i yeah That's if you have it if yeah if you haven't figured it out we actually rehearse all of our shows jokes 100 percent. we have a plan it's all all plan <laughs> so uh oh man uh so um you know, one of the things that we love about Darren uh, is his backstory. Uh, go back and watch one of the early shows that we did um, with him and, and what he's doing with uh, kids and, um, you know, the whole uh, Graffiti Kings aspect um, in London and, and, and working with street kids to get them off the street and empower them through art and, and other, you know, uh, sort of endeavors to, to bring uh, more perspective and balance to their life. Um, in a rebelistic kind of way, which which I, I I'm quite fond of. Um, but uh, Munster Vision, this is the first time to meet you. Um, so who are you, and and what do you do, and and how how do you connect uh, to what's going on with the Graffiti Kings and and all that they're doing? Oh man, what a loaded question. So uh, yeah, hello, greetings, and and welcome to uh, the, my mind. Um, so you ask who I am, I guess to GK. Um, I'm kind of maybe a chef in that light. Like I'm kind of sitting in the kitchen, um, looking at what our ingredients are. What do we have like at our disposal in this pantry? What spices can we throw together? What jambalaya can we cook up? What, what alchemy can we put in our cauldron, if you will? And so um, my role, I think with GK and Darren can attest to this, is to sort of think about combining, like to your point, the the element of street art, which is what GK is rooted in, but combined it with DeFi learning and trying to empower and um, create and collaborate and to teach, especially with youth um, and the Graph Punks initiative. Uh, let's, let's say Darren and I kind of started off carving out some utility and kind of creating um, some meat behind the bones of LFGK, which is our utility token. Probably August, September. Uh, early October is when we started really kind of crafting out how we were going to approach utility for the token. What does that mean for GK as a whole, as the brand itself, but then specifically for Graph Punks, which has kind of been our um, earn to learn and kind of play to earn um, playful environment, if you will. But behind the scenes, our sole purpose is to educate and to empower and to use um the the massive power that that gk has in an art form and in an art sense as kind of the leader in street art to direct people to our community and direct people to our purpose and our mission which is to educate through street art and to help um remind people that there are alternative ways to empower each other and um, using art is one of the best tools that we have as independent creators to create some sovereignty for ourselves and what a better way to do it than blockchain technology right God yeah. damn it, your mind is well structured. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. As we go into this new renaissance, <laughs> we're going to save the streets in this new renaissance. Well, that was, yeah, that was great. It's almost like you rehearsed that. Like, that was really, like, go back and listen to that again because I like it. Yeah, you much. missed that a bit. I was, I was reading off the list. You missed a few, man. <laughs> <laughs> dang it. You sent the script via telemail. I got it by the <laughs> this morning. I tried to memorize everything. For <laughs> apologies. That's great. Um, no, listen. Look, I um, specific to like what's now doing and you know Munster Vision with GK. 
pay. We've got a lot of things kind of culminating all at once. So I'm sure you guys have been hearing for months now about the Hoddle Warriors game and lots of updates coming out on that end. I'll let Darren kind of take that in. But from my framework, I've been really focused on what's known as Graph Punk's Medieval Hero Arena recently. Uh, we've got about 250 people in our beta testers. Um, <clears throat> right now, we're doing maintenance, so I couldn't exactly send everybody to go check out our game at the moment. But right now, we're rolling in new NFT awards, new burn structures, new game art, all kinds of new um, hip features to this game before we roll kind of to full launch. But anyway, so we've got this game in beta. It's 21 levels. It's an RPG, uh, PDE F to P, but also learn to earn games. So the purpose behind it is we start everybody out with a baseline of tokens, game tokens, and you can experience all of the different fight areas. So there's a single battle, there's a teams battle, there's a chaos battle, and then we've got mining built into the game. And the, the learning element behind it is kind of, you start with this ledger and you have a balance and you have to decide how you're going to build your character, how you're going to apply the little bit of gold and, um, monetary gain that you start with and then how do you build your skills how do you fight in your arena are you using strategy and logic to win more and more battles are you just trying to beef up and make your your character the strongest are you going to mine the most to try to get the more rewards from the game like how are you going to use DeFi and learn about the tokenomics behind what's driving the game but really in a fun environment that's driven by visual spectacle you know battle boars and dragons and building up like kind of a a Dungeons and Dragons or RPG type experience, but really under the hood is learning all about um, token value and where to best apply your tokens. Do you want to try to earn a bunch and cash out? Is it better to try to build your character up and win the awards faster? How do you want to approach the game? And we want it to be kind of like a, a flat approach, learning about the tokenomic, learning about LFGK and learning about graph punks, but in a really cool way because it's entertaining and it's a game and yada, yada, yada. But that's really the truth behind the pudding is everything that, that we're trying to cook up is to educate people about DeFi, whether it be our presence with um, DeFi box and earning mining power by, you know, going in liquidity pools or working with Corey and blue and having a blue deck, um, you know, yielding and yield farming. There's so many different ways that we're trying to use our token before we have full on staking, before we have full on airdrops, before we have full on two and three games in the works and we can still breathe and talk and constructively discuss, um, you know, the ideas behind the token before there's just so much going on that you just have to pick and choose where to get in. That's kind of how I'm seeing it at least. Yeah, so I, I I like it. I, I I used to teach economics, and uh, I was wasn't very good at it um, because none of it freaking made sense to me. <laughs> like, and if you look at like you know traditional economics and the way that we teach it, like a lot of things that we're we're, we're still you know stuck in like you know 1960s, sometimes even 1930s textbook mentality when we when we go through it, right? And I really think mm -hmm. that there's a big chance with blockchain and crypto and DeFi and a lot of these applications for people to learn economics a better way, right? Like, like economics that actually work, right? As, as opposed, as, as opposed to, you know, um, systems that are kind of shoved down our throat. So, so I'm kind of excited to see how some of these, you know, as you said, you know, earn to learn uh, type of scenarios in the blockchain space um, um, work out, right? So you guys are, are obviously focused on WAX. Um, you'll be focused on WAX primarily. Um, do you guys have any any dates for, for when some of this stuff might be available for people to test or beta test or, or try out? Yeah, well, absolutely. Like um, I won't really speak on the large UK game. Um, I'll let Darren take that. So before I switch from GraphPunk's specific um yeah so the game is basically in beta now so there are like i said about 250 people beta testing now um once we get the art rolled out and the final updates pushed we'll probably send out the ne the next and i'm hoping probably last wave of beta tester rounds and then we're hoping to move into full launch i'd say probably maybe a month's time the the goal is to get some packs up we're doing some alchemy packs we're going to get uh some one of ones generated. So there's like, you know, there's the physical tangibility too of the art pieces connected to the game. So we don't want to just rush anything out. But in short, Jimmy, to your question, short, we got about 250 people beta testing now. Um, you guys get at me after this show. Once we get it kicked back off, I'm sure we can work something out if you guys would like to check it out. Um, and then further than that, we have a big drop today that's in a Graph Punks 
uh, fashion with, so it's kind of like a three community crossover drop with our uh, friends and family over at Blockchain Blunts and the Digital Acid. So, you know, shout out nice. Wamp- Wampa Stampa, uh, Seb, Digital Acid. So today what's going on, super cool. And I can't think of anything in collections I'm involved with that have done something like this. We've got a morph blend going on. So um, two, 210 mints of each of the first two characters. And follow me here because this is going to get a little bit um, – connected and convoluted in a great way so you start with either a balaclava or a a duchy on the digital acids drop so the blockchain blunts community and then from the digital acid purchase whether you get the balaclava or the duchy you can then decide okay i like this art it's awesome but i'm gonna morph it or blend it into gk's version we've then made a graph punks version of both uh, uh duchy and balaclava and so you might decide man i want to keep the blockchain tda version of duchy but i want the gk balaclava well cool so all you got to do is buy either one of the tda versions that you start with and then you keep that one hodl it awesome you want to morph it awesome even cooler so morph it and then the 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 like last piece to this first round is that anybody that hodls their whichever of the four characters they like whether they buy the base two and keep them or they morph them into the gk punks whichever you'll get airdropped an uplift skin to go flex around in uplift go walk around in not only the tda area the gk area basically anywhere you can portal around and jump to inside of uplift we'll have two different skins to choose from from this first round of the morph drop like crazy so three community crossover drop you got to blend to morph it into the gk you can ho- hodl the tda version you can hodl the gk doesn't matter which one and then you'll get dropped the skin and that's super cool right but it's like but wait there's more because we're always cooking and we're always trying to be like future forward and forward thinking how can we keep this morph like uh, into a larger picture and so if you hodl this one you get your uplift skin and then you decide you want to hodl the original pieces and not sell them and we're going to kick up an extra benefit for hodling down line and we're, we'll have a master blend and i think we'll share the art um at some point today that that shows kind of what the the final blend blends into but you'll get not only the first uplift skins and not only a morph between graph punks and tda and blockchain blunts but then down line we'll have a final mega blend with a mega skin as well so you'll get dropped a second uplift skin for hodling and blending into an even cooler Wampa Stampa, Graph Punks, Balaclava, Duchy, TDA, Mega Crossover. So that's what we're cooking up. I mean, the show's over right now. That's like, we're done. Have a good day. <laughs> uh, I mean, that that sounds brilliant. We've been talking a lot about uh, about blends. You know, we haven't, um, you know, uh, we obviously in, in this little transition period, we haven't been able to do all the fun sort of innovative stuff. It's so just like hearing all the fun you guys are having. And like, you know, the cross uh, pollination with different projects and stuff like that. Just I live for that shit. It's freaking really cool. I'm excited about it. Me too, man. Synergy, Synergy, man. You know, right. (sighs) And yeah, like the fact that like you're running around with, you know, all those, uh, uh, you know, crazy new, uh, 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 you know, skins that that people bring into the uh, into the uplift has been really fun to see that 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 interplay as well. Yeah, man. I can't wait to build in my skin. Yeah, man. Right. Yeah, mate. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, now nah, I have to get some. Damn it. Yeah, so I, I know, I know you. Need more you've wax. Been doing, you, you, you've been doing quite a bit of building recently uh, in the uplift, so I'm kind of excited to hear about that as well. Just a question about these skins. So when these skins are dropped, to people obviously like they're NFTs as well, right? Like, so they're 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 uh, going to be yep. NFTs too. So you know, you could hodl them, you could keep them. They're yours. They're your assets. You can do really whatever you want with them. Um, which, which I think is really interesting, really, uh, when it comes to gaming and having that ability to be able to blend um, and get a skin, then that's an added value to, to your portfolio in a sense too, right? Um, so what's going down with you guys? Well, so oh, I want to touch base on a couple things actually. Um, let's go back to, so you guys are, well, we can show this actually. You guys are doing a drop later today. We haven't, mm. so, 
which is the Graf Punk, Spalaka, and Dutchy one. Um, so we'll, we'll just show people what this looks like. Uh, we can put it up on the screen here. Um, yes, go on. I mean, if I don't have too many freaking windows open in my computer again. <sighs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, these are pretty cool. They're they're Dutchy uh, graffiti graffiti uh, kings uh, blends, and uh, here we go. Let me just pull this up here. <clears throat> and we've got quite a few of them, huh? Well, that's weird. All right. Well, Corey's going to share this. Um, it's in the private chat. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Oh, cool. Well, I'll just <laughs> ogle it by myself. All right. Get this up here. Boink. So it's up. We can see it. Okay. Oh, awesome. 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 So as a non-artist myself, visually, um, my art artistry is through words and music by all means. I have to say hats off to everybody that has the vision and is able to, to create something and construct like visually and bring it to light. I just think that's what's Man, to me. These that's skins what, and 3D one of the models. things about street art. Yeah. Like story yeah. monster. Yeah. It's Insane. just like the way, the way it's flowing, oh, you're, you know, you're just way yeah. Right, the way it's flowing from the art into these skins is just ridiculous. That's so good. And you can see not only the unique name piece, but how they all kind of correlate using the backgrounds and the colors. And yep. that's what I find is so neat about art and street, especially is you can have these characteristics or attributes, which we use so often in NFTs and in our collections. But these attributes are signatures. They're really like unique signatures that make a character who they are with with um balaclava you know you've got the ski mask and you've got the fanny pack with dutchy you've got the blunnies holding and and you know a, the skateboard and there's just certain elements that make up who each other are and you can see it across the board no matter who's touching it and that's what i find uniquely beautiful about art is obviously different hands touch this different brains created these visions but there's so much um synchronicity in them and you just you can't deny it you know yeah, it's like all the all the best of all the different. Cause we we know you know we know Wampa and, and uh, uh, you know Sebastian Digital Acid pretty well. Like they've got a massive presence in, in, in the uplift, and obviously you know we've sure. been huge fans of Graffiti King since, since the beginning. And so like just this this isn't just like a collab. We're like, oh yeah, we'll like make a fucking NFT or whatever. Like this is like it feels like an entire experience of all the projects at once, which is really fucking clutch, man. It's that's just really cool. So you said there's a drop today. Yeah, drop today, 420 PST at the perfect time. Uh, we got 210 mints of each two, so it's a total of 420 mints. We like that number around here. Weird. So, uh, yeah, the drop will happen at 420, and uh, the blend should be up pretty much right after that if you want to start you know, morphing your, um, your Wampa, Stampa, or your uh, Sebastian-driven Balaclava or Dutchy into a GK-driven uh, Balaclava or... Dutchy. I do. So, All right. Hey, so the links are actually uh, left, guy, cowboy. Yeah. Oh, I was just gonna remark at that bottom left image. I I was saying to Darren and Seb yesterday. I want that thing as like a giant ten by ten tapestry on my wall. That thing deserves to be displayed in a very large fashion. That guy's <laughs> awesome, and I want him in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, that's awesome. All right, hey, I'm going to uh, um, get the, uh, the the link for this page is on there, and you can get the to uh, all the Nefty links uh, um, down here. So you grab those. This is awesome. Sweet. Yeah, I need I need more wax. Damn it, damn you guys! Sorry. All your cool Sorry. shit. Sorry. So you're breaking up a little bit, Monster. What's that? Oh, I don't know if people are asking any questions about the drop in the chat, but happy to answer any questions if people are asking. I don't know if that's how this works or not, but yeah, uh, well, of course, yeah. Hey, we're keeping an eye on it. Not so many, not not so many questions right right now, but obviously, you know, if you're watching this, feel free to, you know, um, fire up some uh, some questions. Orion Wax said, uh, "It feels nice to see the ecosystem coming together." I couldn't agree more. 
Um, I mean, that's just that's just always good. Uh, Tony Tripp, Monsters yeah. the Shit, Darren the Dog. Uh, who is it? Is it a clown? No, nah, fuck you. Sorry. Denied. Is that a clown or is that just an emoji for God? As if there was a difference. Um, <laughs> sorry, what? Anyway, cool beans. So uh, 720 Eastern Standard Time, yeah? From uh, from PS. Is it? Oh, it's eight. Well, it's eight thirty. Yeah, eight thirty. Oh, today drop four twenty. So it'd be uh, six twenty or seven twenty. Yeah, seven twenty Eastern time. All right. Cool beans. All right. Well, yeah, no everyone... coffee yet. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I just want to make sure that everybody, please uh, ignore that drop for the first ten minutes, so I, that I can get a couple. You fucking degenerates. <laughs> uh, I might actually be awake. I imagine these are going to go pretty fast. What's that? I might actually be awake for it, which will be nice. There you go. Um, so I'm going to drop another one in the comments too, which is the Medium article about, um, you know, what the punks have been up to. So that's another good one uh, to pay attention to. Um, yeah, the graph punks. Uh, the you'll need more than a few hours to talk about that right. the strategy on that graph punks. That that'll that that'll, many levels. That so that's for the P2E the the P2E game. Um, you can check that out. And the, and the last one um, that you guys are uh, kind of going to give us an update on today, I think, was the Moon Boy uh, PD uh, e-game. And um, so we can check that one out as well. Um, Corey, I'll fire you the link. I, I got to reboot my browser, but that's not going to work right now. So maybe um, the Crypto Moon Boys um, as well. So, so what are the Crypto Moon yeah, Boys, cool. Darren? And can you uh, can you explain you know where they came from? Because you guys have a few series. Of, of course, you're doing the, the collabs with the Wampa Stampa. Um, and digital acid, but you've also got the Moon Boys, the Moon Girls. You've got a bunch of other things, and I think the Moon Boys was one of the first kind of characters that, that you guys actually put together, both um, as NFTs and I think, if I remember correctly, it was your original kind of like toy that went out for certain uh, hodlers of those NFTs too, right? In fact, speaking of toy, everyone's going to be happy. You just reminded me. You turned up today. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, that's exciting. Sorry, I'm I'm fan first, so I'm excited. Comes in a nice box. Oh shit! Where is it? Yeah, man. That's awesome. Incredible. And then, then we got the other version. Da, da, da. It reminds me of uh, yeah, oh man, man. who's uh, um Ahmed. It reminds me of Ahmed a little bit. Do you know Ahmed? The uh, the 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 who's the ventriloquist guy that does the puppet acting? guy the puppet guy yeah what's his name yeah, uh, puppet guy. dude that guy's hilarious it's Ahmed I know you're the dead Jeff terrorist Trump. Ahmed the dead terrorist <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Ahmed. Yeah, Jeff okay uh, what's his name Jeff uh, Jeff something I, I know what you mean Jeff is Jeff it Jeff Dunham. Foxworthy no it's not Jeff Foxworthy Jeff Dunham maybe yeah uh, Jeff, Jeff Dunham, yeah. yeah Jeff Dunham yeah, Jeff Dunham, Dunham. Dunham. Marcus nailed it too. Thank you. Um, cool. Uh, all right, yeah. Darren, are those going out? Like, oh shit. So yeah, so literally they, they came in the post today from China. Uh, Nick will be getting his uh, consultant as well, and he will then distribute and decide what's going to be go be going to be sent out to everyone that sent in their NFT to transfer the NFT for the physical toy. So that, so this, awesome. So the OG Bitcoin kid, which is now a physical toy, uh, that's yeah. So anyway, it's now here to everyone that's now finally been waiting for it. Here it is. Uh, so yeah, that'd be coming out, that'd be sent out for everyone to be claimed very soon. And uh, off from that, after everything's gone on with what we've gone on today and the game that we've dropped with Graph Punks, we'll be moving on to uh, the Moon Boys, and uh, that again, that's that's our that's our golden ticket into this space. That's what's hopefully going to fuel and make sure that everything else we're going to be working on is being able to uh, go forward and help all these other projects that we're doing because of the main again our USP, our unique USP, which is the Crypto Moon Boys, uh, which is our Disney. We've created all these other characters underneath it to complement and help the Bitcoin kid and the, the Hodder Warriors and the Bit and all the bears and the bulls 
just battle it out in the metaverse that we're building in the uplift world. And when that's built, everyone will we'll have all these clans, hopefully. Oh, this is years down the line when everything's all right, man. I think like clans and in. guilds like that. I think guilds and people yeah. organizing, you know, uh, uh, around teams to do a bunch of stuff. I know, uh, like Bull Shipples and uh, Rob Flaska, you know, started this thing called the Colony. It's basically that, right? They're just getting, I think they have like, a, you know, 100, 150 uh, people now. And they're basically teaching people to be, you know, good DJs and the kind of play to earn, you know, our wax based, mostly metaverse based or whatever. But they're just going into whatever projects they like and like and dominating them, right? I mean, they're doing that, you know, as a as a as a group. Um, which, of course, you know, that's what uh, uh, Sammy Snake was 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 doing, you know, in in large part too. So I just think like people are going to do that no matter what we do, right? And I think I'm I'm fascinated by and grateful for it, right? Because I think the more yeah. we find, you know, uh, uh, tribes and the ways to to collaborate together, and there's like an infinite number of ways to do that in this space now, right? Um, exactly. Yeah, everyone's got a tribe. It's more rich. Exactly. I've been part of tribes all my life from doing graffiti, from DJing, from everyone's got their own tribe, from their own from their own thing that they're doing. Yep. And they all talk differently and think differently to other people. But but they all got their but they all like to do one thing, and that's party and play games and have fun. And that's Rock what and we're going to supply. Rock and roll. So they'll have all these tribes, they'll have all these tribes, they'll have all the moon boys, they'll have their own way of thinking and way of doing things, and that the graph punks will have their own way of doing things and thinking. And we'll have battles, just like we're gonna have battles. In the central land and uplift and everywhere. That's yeah, that's brilliant. This is the way. But yeah, like it's huge. It. So that's what we're working on. Big picture. Sorry, gone. No, pff, I, that show would be over again in like you know. I, yeah, I mean, it just the the idea that we we it just even like you know, it's been what I don't know, maybe a couple of months since we talked to you guys. It feels like a totally new thing. Like you're learning everything that's going on in the space. You know, taking in what's working. And incorporating that into the art, in, but then into the mission as well, right? Um, and that's just super fun and and fascinating to see because it's just, I mean, you can spot the the projects that are going to be around two, three, four years from now. You can spot them a mile away. And for anyone watching this who's curious, th this is what they look like. And yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's all good. I need to know. It's turning into a well. It's not turning into it is a monster already, and that's right. just turning into like an uncontrollable beast. Yep. It really is because now we start talking. Now we've got to start talking about like, sitting down with Debs to start building, like start building DAOs that are going to take like a year to build out and like create and stuff. Yeah, not that's just create an NFT, a piece of art, and stick it out yeah. as a fucking JPEG and sell it. Now we've got to start thinking about DAOs that are going to take a year to build and blah blah blah. It's like what the fuck? I just want to create art, man. No, <laughs> art went out the window. This is now like yeah, the future shit. Welcome We're on it the, on board. The new world. Yeah, that's I'm fun. now sucked in. Uh, Can't get out. <laughs> that's brilliant. For sure. Once the project gets to the state that we are and where we are headed, community driven governance is absolutely paramount. I mean, there's no way that um, you could have a myopic or like a centralized single thought on how a project should be driven. That's why we need governance. That's why we need DAO. That's why we yep. need to create these different guilds that Darren about. I mean, it's all fun and games, and it is. But at the end of the day, like anthropologically speaking, we all have our totems, we all have our core structures that we operate under. And so we are going to find alignment with the punks or alignment with the moon boys or alignment in uplift in general, just using these contextual examples. But as it forms and as the project grows legs and it does have kind of a larger presence in a meta multi mega metaverse space, it's important that we turn over the reins to the community and we use governance in a way to drive the best um you know, out, output for the project. So it's going to be down. Right. But no, I mean, that's, that's exactly what we're doing. Like, right. We're when, once we get this purchase agreement, you know, uh, uh, done, it's not quite done yet. We're, we're getting there. Um, you know, we're, we're moving to a Dow and we're doing revenue sharing. Right. I mean, there's, there's always this, you know, uh, uh, thing about, you know, um, I, I, like we just wanted to make sure that like everybody who was here at the beginning, everybody was here in this first year and, you know, actually, Jimmy, tomorrow is the the um, will be the a year from our first Tuttle Huddle, our first dev meeting um, for the for the full project, which is crazy. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go live tomorrow too. It's only, only been a year. Yeah, yeah maybe we'll that. have to. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're gonna be doing revenue That's sharing. Which you is, got that. What's that? Sorry for the delay. I just, that's mega gratitude, guys. Congrats, a year. That's a year strong in this space is is ten years strong for a 
a normal startup. So, you know, that's huge. Just thanks, man. Hats off. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely been a journey, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to be doing revenue sharing, which is, you know, really fun. You know, we're going to have the, the whole Dow token, that whole thing, right. That that's super interesting and fun watching the, the, you know, in, and this is described in, in part in the white paper you can hit at the website now, the uplift.world, but the, the committees that are starting to get created around all the different functions watching the, it really is because our community has always been amazing and the team's always been amazing. And there's been sometimes a tension, you know, between the two, because everybody's trying to pour as much energy into this as humanly possible. Right. And sometimes those directions are the same or whatever. And sometimes it just doesn't work like that. It, you know, it, 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 there's no, there was no way to coordinate in, in an efficient way. And um, I can see it now with the way that Tuttle and, and the rest of the people that have been spending a lot of time on the DAO structure and the committees and the governance and the sub governance and all these different things where, where this is going to massively leverage the community that w wants really badly to be pouring their creativity and their heart into this project. And everybody's going to be benefiting, you know, in, in a, you know, meaningful way to see it, like, you know, and get recognition, yada, yada, but everybody's going to be benefiting financially as well, which is really uh, kind of, you know, a key point for me. So that's, it's yeah. Dow the fucking planet is the point. Yeah. And that's the beauty of this space. Yep. Exactly. If not, what else we're going to do? Go and play Mad Max with, uh, yeah. The destroyed I mean, rope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, 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 uh, I don't know. I think for most of the builders in this space, it doesn't matter what blockchain you are on, but for most of the builders, it's the principle. It's, it's not the, it's not the money. And like, you say, but it helps. Like, and like, look, it's here, don't they? And it is helping. It, it is right. helping, but like, you get sucked in because of the principle. Uh, oh, right? yeah, no, of course. I, like, I understand. I, I know a lot of people who, who, who made out like bandits, and I rarely hear from them anymore. Um, and uh, it's interesting to note the people that I used to work with that made out like bandits and are still building in the space and the people who made out like bandits and are not building in the space. Right. Somebody I was following today said that they were going to, um, you know, try to drop the word shill from their vocabulary because they don't like it. And Oh, uh, here we go. It, Look. It, it got me thinking. Beep, beep. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was Deej on Twitter, right? Deej on Twitter. And yeah, it got me it. thinking about it. And it's like... It's really interesting, right? Like there, there's people who, who, who I read a whole thread by Remy James today um, with people putting their ideas of, about what marketing is. And, and it really got me thinking about like why I'm here. And it's like, well, Corey can attest to this. I'm not here for the money. If I was here for the money. I fucking wouldn't be here. Um, <laughs> so far. It's been a grind. That's for well, sure. I'm not, I'm, yeah. I'm, I like, but, but I think it, it's, it's the principle. Just going to buy a shit coin. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's a, it's a very... Hello, we've got a debut. How, how, how old is Bubba it? Munster. First, First Munster. stream. 20 days. Right. 20 days old today. Oh. Yeah. I do right. yeah. That's Super awesome. crazy. Yeah. And, and in uh, NFTs getting, already. I thought I'd go grab Yes. Oh, you, Corey, Corey and I already know. We, we've got this one set up on a on a path to, to future DeFi sovereignty here using right. blue we're gonna we're gonna send this one to the moon right yeah speaking of which um i uh we didn't put in uh, uh graffiti king's uh pool this time and that's fucking stupid so uh darren we should do that um uh, i'll do uh, what I, I i didn't set up a graffiti king's token uh pool on blue deck this month and that's fucking stupid we should, uh, yeah, okay we should figure that out so where, where's I'll the next one uh, dude i i could do it myself now we could do it like you know later today when we're going to do an nft club yes please holy shit okay here's a crazy idea so one thing that's going on in this season of uh, rewards for the uplift uh uh people are going to be getting uh, uh you know blue as well as wax and uh, uh you know uplifting for the rewards right so we basically you know blue deck is is kind of kind of test sponsoring uh, which is something that we want to do more of and we're also going to be releasing something called shards so, you know, I think the top 75% of people that, that you know, earn uh, uh, in this pool, don't quote me on this, because um, I, I just read it, and the team actually came up with this and just fucking rolled with it, because it's a fucking brilliant idea. Um, people are going to be getting uh, shard NFTs. And you get 100 shard NFTs, you're going to be able to trade that in for a piece of land in Thune. Um, now, what I've been thinking is, it would be way more fun to have uh, collab NFTs that end up working with uh, uh, the 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 shards, or that you could blend to get the shards, right? Or that you know we could basically just have them 
you know, uh, uh, be the starts. We do some kind of collab where, you know, I don't know if it's like you know, if we want to clean up the floor on both of our products or whatever, we just drop them as the actual NFT. And that could be the, the extra reward for, for season six, as an example. It's right. actually hilarious because when you were talking about the, this yesterday, I was thinking about it. And I like the idea of shards. But imagine if you had to collect all of the shards to make the NFT. And then if you burn that NFT, you were eligible for a piece of land. Well, that's yeah, that's going to be more right. or less how, how, how the oh. thing works, right? right? And then you could do that with collaboration. And uh, yeah, like I think that would be really <laughs> quite interesting rather than just like collecting 10 random shards and then being able to get an NFT, actually having to trade those. Oh, shards. to get the specific ones? Get the yeah, NFT you're, you're out of your fucking them. mind doing 100 so of them. That's crazy. By, by a community and then you get those NFTs. I right. But if we did, if we did less of them. No, no, no. But I think I think that you're, you're on the right. You're on the right path. We just have to do less NFTs for the total. Sorry, Monster Vision, you were going to say something. Well, dude, just to Jimmy's point, that's incredible. That's it. I mean, that's exactly what you do. You kind of have these these things that form the whole, but then you you use the ecosystem cross space of collaboration, and you do the super blend mechanics that exist. And so then your shards are across three or four different communities to get this land, and it can be a a land part of a community crossover inside of the uplift. So then you target your new community focus on this collaboration in uplift, like the new project that's in uplift, and then you have to have these shards from these other collaborations to even have the land plot in this kind of faceted area. So like, that's really where it's at. That's the yeah. Next. Fucking a. And they, uh, yeah, yeah, we just have them, we have them go out in the reward cycle. So yeah, Darren, let's freaking just plan it out right now. Season six. We'll, uh, we'll team up with, uh, with graffiti Kings and, uh, and make like an epic, you know, NFT drop. We can, we can throw in some, uh, some token too, if you want to. Uh, but I think like doing, uh, uh, um, yeah, doing like dropping the NFTs out um, and, and having a, a, you know, a blend with the shards or whatever, I think would just be like a really fun dynamic. And yeah. people will be, you know, everybody in the uplift would be, you know, just screaming about graffiti kicks for six weeks, which would be pretty fun. Well, hopefully forever. I mean, yes. I mean, it will be forever. <laughs> More specifically and loudly, like, what the fuck? I just like. Spend season love- six. Um, so I think we just started season five. So we would, I think we have uh, uh, five weeks to figure it out. Okay. So yeah, you better get moving then. I mean, rock and roll. All right. Fun. Stay on the stream after. Let's yeah. rock and roll. Cool, man. All right. Well, I, now the show is definitely over because, like, where do we go from that? I just feel like I just feel like you know, God, I'm just gonna quit now today. Like this. Yeah, man. It's gonna have an early four twenty. Right. It's massive right. wins. It's like we're we're done. Thanks for playing. <laughs> <laughs> four twenty. Is 420, guys. Let's not forget 420. It's 420 somewhere. Exactly. Drop day, drop day. Yep. Nailed it. Um, well, uh, take one more moment to talk about another cool thing that we've got kicking off with GK and cross collaboration and pollination and utility and tokenomics. You know, I don't want to end the show and not stress on the fact that right now we've got dual mining set up in Galactic 123, which is a super sleeper project here on wax i think it's one of the greatest potentials to be an advertising machine and beast um any project out there exploring the planet for themselves and utilizing it in a way to um use it as a hub in this wax space to uh gamify that said we've got some really cool developments over the last week or so um we've got now lfgk active mining on our gk clubhouse planet coordinates 0306 on Galactic. We also are uh, partners with our music buddies, Sublime Sounds Network, and they've got mining on their planet, which is 12.1. So collectively across both of our communities, we've got some dual mining opportunities going on with some NFTs that are rolling out very shortly, where if you hodl this NFT in your wallet, you'll earn X amount of benefit from mining rewards in uh, a Sublime Sounds planet and benefit from mining rewards on GK planet. And so I just want to stress that in this space, creators and projects should really be looking at how they can cross pollinate as much as possible, create gamification as much as possible, cross form their utilities as much as possible, because we're all trying to eat in this space. It's we over me. And um, we should all work towards trying to figure out if there's a nice collaborative space. Not everybody can collaborate and not everybody's going to jive. All right. But I think utilizing the opportunities that do work well to the 
their abilities, such as Sublime Sounds and GK. We've got a, 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 full, a full team formed over there. Um, when Sounds of Kings, you can join the team, join our guild, join our clan, and uh, get some dual mining opportunities kicked off over on Galactic 123. So I just wanted to push that one too. Well, and cool. I, I mean, to, 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 to your point, I mean, a metaverse of one would be completely intolerable. I mean, unless you're a narcissistic prick. Um, so the point is <laughs> when we're building the uplift, everything that we're doing is about connecting communities. And people like you who are building awesome things, like feel, please feel free to reach out. Um, with some of these brilliant ideas, if you have an article that you want us to put up or any other communities as well that are, that yep. are integral part of our metas, metaverses on where we hide all, all the alpha.com. Because to your point, Monster Vision, it's about collaboration. It's about we. It's about pushing uh, forward all of the people that we're working with. And, and uh, as Corey always says, you know, rising tide uh, lifts all ships, and, and we want to do that. So so please keep us updated if you ever um, you know, need us to shout you out on where we hide all the alpha.com. I mean, it's definitely the place that we want people to go to for, for good knowledge and, 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 and good information on the projects that, you know, support us in our vision of the metaverse. Yeah, 100%. We, we should get a, a, an article up on that, especially with the blends and stuff. I think that'll be, um, that'll be really good. And I'm starting to get really excited about season six now. I just let our team know that, that that's the plan, Darren. We're yeah, and, 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 and actually, like, the, the whole, the really whole cool. upload the whole uplift skins thing as well like like i'll yeah. talk to you after i'll talk to you after the show but uh, yeah that's 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 a whole thing for sure um uh, oh and the gra the um you can see galactic one two three monster i don't think we, I don't, i've never seen that and i know we sure. haven't talked to them i don't think oh well man i can definitely get alfred on the show if you'd like that yeah that please do that guy is all about the cross Let's do that for sure. Yeah, let's get them on the show. Yeah, that's and, and that goes for everybody. If there's if there's projects that you haven't seen on the show yet that that you're doing stuff with and you're really enjoying it, fucking get them on the freaking show. Like we I, we still want to meet everybody. There's so many new uh, people that are doing amazing stuff in the uh, uh, in the space now. Um, you know, I think it's just going to be you know uh, I just want to keep you know as much as possible anybody that's that's interacting with with especially with you guys that you know are doing really well and having a lot of fun. We need to have them on for sure. Well, and, and like I, that was the other thing I wanted to yes. say as well. Like, if you guys are out there in the audience and, and you know great projects, it doesn't necessarily have to be on Wax. It can be on Ethereum. We're, we're looking to, you know, maybe expand over there or, 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 or Terra or a few other blockchains. Like, find us the best NFTs or the best, you know, projects that are collabing. I mean, I, I know Graffiti Kings does things all across the space, not just on Wax and like everywhere, right? And I think that's really important. Um, you know, one of our favorite people. Or one of our favorite groups of people in, in, in the space is, is 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 the writer team with their meta collect and, and they're across five different blockchains and that's the way that blockchain should be right like you shouldn't <laughs> you shouldn't have to um you know just just be relegated to your tribe i mean your tribe is great but you need to use that as a, as a springboard off, off the other places oh we're going old school we're keeping the kings and queens we're going to conquer all the blockchains right <laughs> mm, this is the way man like yeah chain agnostic Anywhere, anywhere where there's like a whole lot of action, we just want to be there. So I mean, it's, it, yeah. it's Jimmy's point. Like it's our mission to to you know act as the 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 connective tissue as that that layer where all the tribes can can come together in a really meaningful and persistent way, right? And just you know, at blockchain is just another tribe. So if there's a lot of energy there, we want to plug it into the plug it into the matrix, as it were. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for joining us, guys. Um, keep us posted. Uh, let us know. And I mean, to your point, uh, somewhere at some time, uh, you'll be able to have one of these and expand your mind. Hey man, we gotta start working on the Graffiti Kings Gallery. That's incredible, man. 
right? I want to just go live. Can I just go live there? Yes. Grab a hammock. Roll something. Up. Oh wow. How's that for a spot? That was badass. Mate, that's Definitely. what the Crypto Stone Boys need in their little plaza, 100%. man. 100%. We started, we started uh, airing that. And Jimmy, thank you for remembering that. We started airing one of those every day. We've got like 15 videos that are at least that good. That just And all different galleries. That's right? These people are just building insanely good things. Like the bar just gets higher and higher all the time. Um, but and, I honestly... Yeah. Sorry, so, Monster Vision, we lost Speaking weekend. of uplift builds, have, oh, so, sorry. Have y'all seen what Ionic Void has built out? Um, he's got, he has the ancient oasis. No. No. We need, uh, we need coordinates. And uh, layers of different collections built in. He's got some GK and oh, uh, his own collection project works, but it's some of the most detailed build. Corey, I think I sent you a picture of it in DMs, but. Should definitely get that guy on to talk about his build out in Oakland. For sure. Incredible. Yeah, if you if you talk to him, uh, let him know. Just get him in touch with Jimmy. We'll get him on the calendar. And yeah, we'll get him on the calendar. We'll get him on the blog. Again, if any of you guys want to write your own your own post about you know shilling, <laughs> damn it, your own post about talking about <laughs> that that whole not not use the word shill um, didn't work out so well. Your whole talking about your your own builds, um, you know, uh, reach out and, and we'll we'll put some posts up. For what you guys are building. Cool. Well. Nice one, guys. All right. Uh, all right. See you guys all next time. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, take care. Oh, geez. Hold on. Let's. Uh, Monster's back. Hey, Monster, you got any last words? Yeah, I do, actually. And I'll be quick. I yeah. just want to remind everybody in this space that we're all noobs in this space and that this is like romper room, middle school at best, like electric company. And we all see it and we all want to have it and we all want to reach out and grab it, but we can't have it all right now. So crawl, walk, run really is really important to factor in when we're looking at projects and when we ape into something, we need to be fluid. We need to understand that some things change, trajectories shift. But if you believe in a project and you believe in the research you've done, then trust in yourself and trust in your own gut and let, and Let's just work. Let's get to the end game. Let's get to the goals that we're all trying to build instead of being worried about what day this mark didn't happen and what roadmap diversion happened and what white paper thing didn't get executed. Let's talk about it. Let's figure it out. There's usually a good reason as to why. That's all I want to say. Well, and if there's not, you're following the wrong projects. Follow the projects that execute their shit and not make false promises. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> right. Well, and again, like to, to Monster's point, I mean, like plans change. Yeah. Right. Like, it. we, like it's, it's, it is a staple on our team. We reserve the right to have better ideas. Yeah. I get all it. All the time. Right. But it. at the same time, yeah. Like if there's no plan and no execution whatsoever, eh, it tends to be a clue. But yeah, like, all this stuff is beginning. Like, it, like almost everyone is throwing spaghetti at the wall almost all the time. And we're learning from each other and we're iterating. And yeah, it's really, really, really 20 you know day old baby freaking early um uh, which is exciting um i'm i'm, I'm really glad that uh, uh really glad you got to come on the show hey so <laughs> all right guys chop us out jimmy we got a rock and roll sweet yeah